Barstool Pick'em is back, and we are presented by our good friends at Game Time, created by fans for fans. Game Time is the new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last-minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. I am so excited for a couple games this year. I think we might be going down to LSU for a big one. Might also be going to Iowa for a very big one. So Game Time's going to hook us up. Iowa, Iowa City, I think it's week two. Get excited. Download the Game Time app. You can get into Kinnick Stadium where College Football Show will be. I'm just going to say it right now. Boom, that was free. Game Time, download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time, last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Game Time, download it. Use code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Please use code PICKEM if you love this show as much as I love this show. And thank you to Game Time, our presenting sponsor. Barstool Pick'em, week zero. We are back. I don't think we've ever done a week zero for the record. We did do a week zero for the record because I remember specifically being like 4-0 and last year when we were at the Jake Paul game uh, uh, fight. Is that why the trophy's not ready? That's what I was asking about before. I know you said I forgot something or something. No, but, I didn't say I forgot anything. Well, yeah, if, why isn't the trophy ready, I guess, is the question. Which trophy? The, the this trophy Pat Hill. name should be Pat, engraved. Yeah, okay, so there's business to get to. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, yeah. you have it. Oh, look okay. At that. All right, yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it'd come in or already be on there. It was business to get there. Well, no. We. Ha- I mean, Jay in Toronto. Shout out Jay in Toronto. It's great. We have El Prez with the percentage. Fifty-one point four percent last Portnoy year. Portnoy or Dave. Guy gave you some options. Wow. What are the options? Dave. No. Portnoy. No. I think it's El Prez, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm okay, a big yeah, cat El on Prez. there. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. Okay. So go. Put it, go put it on. Go put right. it on. Yeah, Actually, it's perfect because right now yeah, I want. I wanted to start. We lost. We lost some good fellows since we last taped Pickham. So we should. Yeah, have a sad eyes is gone. Well, out, sad yeah. eyes, but also Tony Sirico, James Con, yes. Ray Liotta, Tony Saragusa, oh, just people who died. Paul, Sor- well, you know, mobsters, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fake life, real life. Uh, Paul Servino, and Sad Eyes. So and I guess we lost Katie. Katie which is sad. Say Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta died. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to get Katie back. We can. I can talk to her. Well, Katie's out. Well, she's she's producing the the piece of paper for us, but she is very very busy. So All I was right. like, yeah. Doesn't she like doing this though? She I feel does. Like she's the cop, the Rico cop. Yeah, maybe Dukes what will do be the cop. That? What do you mean by cop? When you throw fake stats, oh, okay. she's there. To, well, let's do the moment well, of silence. Well, Dukes is dumb. No offense. Yeah, we know. Dukes we, is mo- useless. That was why. All right, moment of silence. Okay, that was beautiful. Yeah, no, Dukes, when when Dylan... I like Dukes. No, when Dylan left... And I like Dylan. Dylan was the the pick tracker, and he would post the picks. Consistently um, wrong. Consistently wrong. And I was like, (laughs) who... He got it wrong in week one last year. Who here can, can, like, mess up but try to do their best, and then when they mess up, just eat shit? Dukes. Yeah, Dukes is good at eating shit. Dukes is a perfect guy. He's one of the only people in... Barstool history who fucked up and got himself out of it by handling it like a mature gentleman yeah. by just coming and that's when he also did a problem gambling joke and I'm like what the fuck were you doing and dude he's like I'm just really stupid I'm a really dumb all right, person pat him on the ass you know send him away can't be mad about that nope um all right so this is the first time I've seen Rico smile in like three yeah months. I've heard you've been mopey moping around here big time mopey mope saving the energy for pick him all right oh okay I, yeah. I told him I, I read a, a book to my son called Grumpy Monkey, where the, the monkey named Jim and then his last name is Pansy just is grumpy all the time. That's Rico. He just yeah, walking around. Grumpy I can monkey. only judge on what I see here, and he seems like he's in a good mood, a happy mood. So that's great. So should we should we talk about where we're at? The state of Mount Ryder more? The Well wh- that's I'm not a rider. No, I am not either. I don't Hank? think Hank is. No. So there is. There no goes other. the smile. There goes the smile. Well, he knows what he did, um, and you know, I, I it's uh, we are removed from the situation. I I don't know that there's hate, but it's like you, again, and it's a consistent thing at Barstool. You see where people stand at different moments in time, and we know where Rico stands. I, I don't hate Rico. He's but I certainly you can't ride with the guy. No, because I mean I I've said it before, but w- we spent what three presidencies coming in this guy's hole. <laughs> And then when we need our holes to be coming, 
he's just nowhere. Nowhere. Well, he was there. He just he wasn't there. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm there, at. I don't. Mount Rattamore basically doesn't exist. Or does it, and we just add someone? Hmm. That'd be an interesting move. Who could we add? Seems like the decision's already been made. What are you talking about? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead what? Run the power sweep. Green Bay power sweep? Run it. What do you? What is the Green Bay power sweep <laughs> in your mind? What? I mean, we all know. Are you talking about the do to do? I mean, he, he he's he is hired. He is coming back. That's an official hiring, but that has nothing to do with you. That and he starts September one. And I actually said because I think the do to do earned it. To be honest, he was very good on Barcelona Idol Week. And and his podcast is pretty good. And he did a a stream with um, Danny Boy Kane that he hosted. That he was very good hosting. The man owned it. Oh, uh, he, the man earned it. The only thing that prevented really anything was my allegiance to Mount Ridemore, which, as I previously said, does not exist. Uh, but I will say, when I hired him, I go, I want to go. I, like I'd avoid the whole Rico thing. Like yeah. create your own niche. Don't like provoke or whatnot. And he's like, yeah, I agree. So we'll see what happens. But That's it was, good. Yeah, it wasn't. This wasn't a poke uh, Rico stick because when you are part of. Um, Mount Rydemore, I feel like it's more like a brotherhood. You're cracking jokes. You're doing uh, uh, that correct. Thing, yeah, yeah, all yeah, that's yeah. all. That's yep. all. Those are all things of the past. So I wouldn't do something to like needle or whatever. But I thought he earned. A, I I think he earned a shot. We were hiring a whole crew. I mean, we hired how many people on Barcelona? Like a four lot. or five. Yeah. And, and I thought he earned it. I thought he was funny. So I did yes. too. But it's not a shot at Rico at all. So Rico, what what do you think about that? Dave's the boss. Talking to the mic. Dave's the boss. Will you be? And that's mature. That's the it new is. mature Rico, I think. W- what will happen if, is the new coming to the office? Yes. I believe so. Will you be here those days? We'll see. Well, I mean, you have to be. If he's coming to the office, you have to. I mean, uh, again, I did say it. I'll pull it up. It's like, it's create your, there's no long term, long term sustainability in just being the foil. Rico's foil. Yeah, like create your own lane. And I think he can like yeah. that. Uh, Men of Honor. Yeah, is that the, that's the name of his? No, uh, the sit down. A good. history. It's pretty podcast. good numbers. Yes, no, does a good does. job with I, it. So I've listened to it. It's yep. it's a good podcast. Okay, Dave's the boss. Okay. I think we're all in great spirits. Yeah, here. this is good. I, I thought this was going to go a different way. I thought you were going to maybe I've, storm I've been here with this mopey, 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 oh, and I'm not getting mopey. it. I'm getting, I'm getting a new mature therapy helped Rico. Right. He's been big time mopey, though. I did. I did. This isn't the time to bring it up, but I, I did hear through the grapevine that you skipped, though, a rundown after the very clear instructions that if you're told to do the rundown, you do the rundown. Is that true? Why don't you bring John Rich in? Well, why don't you tell me what happened? It's I, I'm in a no win. Like it's you don't do make this it. after. Do the thing after. Just it's let's do the podcast. Me. Do this after. Um, Have Dukes do it. Yeah, trying to get that. It's fucking killing me. I don't know what's going on. I think the yeah. Let's do the there. podcast. I have been. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, making excuses isn't going to win. There, I mean, there is no excuse. So I'd rather just have him say what he says. Who? John. He didn't say it. Yeah, I know. Brandon did. I know. So what What happened? He asked me Sunday night, said, can you do the rundown? I said, absolutely. Normal time from what your email was was 3 o'clock. I was doing money shots at 2.15. I'm like, I'll be there right after. Finished at about 3.02. He came over to me earlier in the day and was like, hey, we want to move it up. Um, probably for to help Brandon do – unnecessary roughness at 2 30 or 3 o'clock whatever he had to do so he was like hey we're gonna move you off it all right no problem i was ready to go at three o'clock okay so uh, see so what what you don't need to get defensive i think what you just said is very valid it's a new rico and and i think yeah yeah i'm not taking that that's a good reason whoa what i don't know phone's blowing up you think it's bugged in here? I have no idea what's going on. It will not stop ringing. Um, Who is it? I don't know. It's it's weird numbers. Hmm. How uh, It just started when you came in here? Yeah, it's the last couple. I don't know what's going on. 
I noticed somebody do something to him. No, I didn't do anything to him. I noticed you haven't made eye contact with Hank. You said do the show. Well, What's Hank's up, Hank? part of the show. He's yep. been part of the show for three presidents. Okay, four. Yeah, I've talked to him. What's up? Do you want to air the grievances? I don't have any grievances. Okay, I don't either. Okay, well, why would you? You, yeah, I mean, you, you have no right to have a grievance. Should we talk about? Should we should we renegotiate your contract right now? <laughs> to do that again? <laughs> I mean, I think you're doing great, Rico. Look at that! Right. That's huge. But much like Phil Jackson, I have not yet been ex- in extended. And we are in a title hunt. Either way, we'll hang a back. This is the last when dance. This is the last dance. the contract up? End of the year. So this is the last dance. What, what like literally? Like Jan December 1? December 31st, yep. Oh, man. This is the last dance. I could sell some merch. Here, I just sent it to you guys. Is... I think we are going to have a big year because I do think other distractions, from what I gather, are no longer going to be. Bench mob, dead. Is it? Officially? Dave makes the calls. Where are we at? I think he's dead. Got it. Because, well, cool. that we had a conversation, fruitful. I don't think we're going to hang banners, as Rico says, with Riggs and Jake Marsh. And I think Jake left, so he only had Riggs, who's a blogger, not a on, and he knows a lot. We got this other podcast, which I had nothing to do with, but Mush, Nadu, and the two basketball players. So I don't know for a niche thing, but I I think that's good. I think then we can focus on the bread and butter, the Green Bay Power Sweep, as you say. And let me tell you something. The numbers we can stack up here will Oof. dwarf the other. Oof. If we do a contract negotiation here, we'll stack those yeah, numbers. Yeah, imagine when we're all focused and not Whoa. running out of here and changing and swiping. And Ed and Cooley. Forth. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I'd look at it as a positive. You could still do college basketball content. Okay. I mean, that's – that's. you could still cover the sport. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to stab somebody soon. What? <laughs> What did you say? I think he whispered. He needs gonna, a break. You need a timeout this I think, early? I think he said, if I heard that correctly, I'm going to stab somebody soon. <laughs> this is an early and timeout. I, I will say em. it's also a very different vibe, which you, of course, created for yourself because your yes man, I've noticed, is not yesing very much, and I haven't seen mm. one tooth from Hank. As, as um, Bubba, Liam put it perfectly he said that w- dave and i have always run the pick and roll what rico might not realize is now hank is standing wide open in the corner for a three correct it's right. tough yeah you put me in a tough spot but i'm no one know. rode harder than him he literally last season he couldn't get he couldn't get your cock out of his mouth now here we are and it's just it, it feels like a scene in a movie where, you know, and, and I, it's not a perfect equivalency because Braveheart's the good guy, but after Mel Gibson's waving in all the horses to come help him, he looks around, no one's coming. Yeah. And the the army is depleted. Well, what is the state of the riders? How is it? Are they strong? Are they a rebel force? What's like, are you, are you, you know, building them back up? Is it is it rearmament? What's going on? Yeah, low, you know. Low in numbers, I would guess, and you lose power force. People don't want to now join the cult when the uh, big shareholders have sold off. Well, I'll say this: I have I have disavowed being a rider many times before. It hasn't been permanent yet. I'm not going to put a permanent stag- stamp on this right now. As of right now, I'm not a rider. Things can change, right? Right. So I could ride again. And it will be a great day if I ever get back to that. We got a I don't long know way if to go. I can ever ride again. Really? I don't know. Ever? Hey, can you I ever ride I again? I can ever ride again. Never say never, but I don't. I wow. I don't know what could happen that would would get me back on on the it's rider just so level. Tough. So it seems like I might be your only hope. Okay. And I'm I'm not a rider right now, but maybe someday. Sorry, it ended like that, Hank. Me too. <laughs> no one's more sorry than me. Yeah. Got it. What are you <laughs> pulling up? It's just Milmore is so good. 
<laughs> the Fredo. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, that was a nice moment there that you apologized to Hank. Who's calling I, you? I, hello? Oh, wow, the who, last yeah. dance. Who is see this? what he just sent us? <laughs> okay. Who was it? Did you I, see I what Rico know. just sent us? I think that's a good poster to sell. That's a great poster. We should sell it. <laughs> the last dance, a 13-week podcasting event. Man, it might be, you know. But who, in the last dance, it's, you know, the Bulls are against management. So who are we against here? There is no common enemy. Well, he, unfortunately, he is, is the closest yeah, thing to a common enemy. He is the common enemy. So you're Jerry Krause. Why am I the common enemy? Are you capable of flipping on me? No. Wow. Like Mincy? Mincy, there's reporters always snooping around, dying for a source inside these walls. No. Hmm. No, I wouldn't do that. Not the most convincing thing I've ever okay. heard you say. I wouldn't do, what do you want me to say? I wouldn't do that. I, I want you to act appalled that I even asked that question. Disgusted. You thought about it. No, I wouldn't do that. I didn't even know where you were going. I was in, amazed that you would ask that after all these years. So it is week zero. Uh, we have done a week zero before. We did it Got last it. year. Is this like in a holdout situation? Are you are you going to play the season out? And oh, then- yeah, Dan. He has no choice. Well, I was gonna say, is he? Dan, gonna- he he's fighting. <laughs> he 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 is fighting. He's like uh, in, in training camp. A guy every time he gets an opportunity, he has to go one hundred and twenty percent. He's gonna to be running down earns. the sidelines on special yeah. teams. Oh yeah, yeah. Coach, let me play both sides of the ball. Coach, let me carry the ball to practice. Let me put the helmets away. Coach, what do you need? Hey, can I run some patterns of the side? That's what he has to be as we head towards the end of the year. Yeah, it's very abundant. It's an expiring deal. So are you – but what I was going to say, like Lamar Jackson, I think he said, like, if we don't get a deal done by the time the season starts, we're done talking about it. We did that dance last year. So are we done talking about it? Yeah, I'm waiting to be approached. Got it. Got it. Got I it. <laughs> don't know if I will be, but we'll – you know, I would – hanging a banner lasts forever, so – Okay. Be nice to go out on top. It would be. So wait, is that what does a going out on top look like? Because, like I said, the who's the one we're going against here? Is going out on top you finishing last in the leaderboard? <laughs> I don't understand. That's where the analogy breaks down on me. I'm just trying to figure it out. What does going out on top look like? I mean, with this core, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Man, it would be a sad day. Four presidencies. Now, yeah. Wow. It's a long time. It's a long ass time. Okay. So should we do week zero? Yeah. Okay. Um so let's let's set the stage again. The Pat Hill trophy. Let, let me see it again. Dave won it last year. Yeah, so it. Dave and I are both on the board. I won it twenty twenty. I know. I don't know what's going on. With fifty four percent, read the whole Pat Hill Trophy. What, right. what was my percentage last year? Fifty one point four percent, and that was Good the. Rem- there's a there's a rule that if you go if under fifty, everyone goes under fifty. No one. Re- it's a yeah. vacated title. It's That's fair. Yep. Yeah. It's a vacated title. I'm just as a side. I'm planning on having the best football season of my life. Just as an aside, I've become a savant on the Red Sox. I know if they win or lose before they play every night. Really? Every night? Every night. What about tonight? They're going to lose. Okay. They're, they're minus they're, – the Jays are minus 150. I've had them every which way. I just know, for whatever reason, I am locked in with the Boston Red Sox. I know if they're going to win or lose. I you did have yeah. it the other day on Saturday. I, I think I've won seven straight Red Sox, and I'm going back and forth because I don't the think they're any good. So I won't watch them. They did Kirk wrong, so they're on my list. Yeah, are you are you more in line with Kirk than because you you do fight hard for Kirk and we Dave and I both like Kirk a lot, but it feels like you fought harder for Kirk than a guy who was coming in your hole for years. Undoubtedly so. <laughs> I mean, that's just I'm just stating just it, 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 facts. It, the people are gonna be the vibes. It's tough when you have a grim face, Hank. He is he's scowling. He's mm-hmm. angry. He can't even look at the guy. It's a very different vibe. You know what it is, Dave? It's actually what's very funny is it's it's almost like history repeating itself because 
for the longest time you were you would tell me like no no Rico's not doing a shtick and I didn't believe you and then that one day that we had dinner and he was like we offered him a full time job and he was like well, I need you to delete these comments I was like oh he well he yeah isn't. listen I and, and I I don't know and I don't even want to go into it because I think we moved past it obviously um, things happen that. I'm sure everybody wishes didn't happen. Um, and I don't know the situation that Rico was in. So, but, you know, it's, it's just tough because that is one thing where I would expect him to be so over the top. With on, his guys. And it was a very easy thing. Whatever. It right. sucks. I don't even want to rehash and it. Then, it does that, suck. But that's what it felt like when I've been, I've been basically conveying that message to Hank, like, no, Rico... He's a bad guy. Oh, yeah. And then Hank woke up one day and was like, oh, yeah, you're right. I don't even think it's a bad guy. The only thing I'll say is this, is, is I don't I, I wasn't asking for people to take my side or whatever. I didn't really care. But you did pick a side by not saying anything, and then the person who you sided with is now starting a podcast with your mortal enemy. Mm. That's what I that don't understand. A, I don't think I picked brutal. the side. If you watch the tapes, when we came in that Monday, I was like, he's, you know, he's like, ah, I'm going to make a statement. All right. Fair, fair. I asked questions. When he kept saying, but Rico, hey, I reached out to him. I wish I reached out to him more. I'm like, you didn't really yeah, reach but, out to but, him at all. That's on tape. But, but Rico, here's the thing. And you could actually, for me, and this is where people may be like, Dave, you're, you're a jerk or a little bit. You go, let's say everything, if an unbiased person looked at the situation like, you know, Mush is 100% right, Hank wrong. I would still, and this is where I'm a flawed person, my background with Hank and how long I've known him Trumpet. would still be like, nope, Hank's right. And and you have, unless I'm mistaken, a much longer history with him. Agreed. So then that that's what makes no sense to me. And the crazy thing is, like, I Marty and I are fine now. Like, he's probably going to be on streams this year. Like, it's not, it's it's kind of water on the bridge. The only one who basically lost is you. And I don't even think he would have said much because it's like, his picture's not on Ride Amore. We rode. We rode together. We took a blood oath. We rode into a fiery hell. Mm -hmm. I don't make the call of who gets to be on things and who doesn't. But so why didn't why you won't, why you aren't you guys more? What are you it's talking about? Brand, Ryder Moore. You literally Brand, made the poster. And you called me the poster. No, no, no. Central. I no, wasn't no, kicking. no, I'm talking like about the I'm talking about the, the college basketball space. podcast. Yeah. But I no, what? not what happened to your guys show together? Why aren't you guys still together if if Jake didn't want to work with him? Marty started his own thing, and now it doesn't seem like Jake wants to continue what we have. Well, no, so Jake is I'm separate. Jake no should country. be put out of this because he's not involved. Like he, he, I told him that his job is not reliant on bench mob. So it's like your time is better spent doing other things. So that's and we had this conversation. Bench mob wasn't working. It was never going to work. No oh. offense, but you can cover everybody. And and Rico and I had this conversation. Um, and it wasn't hostile or anything. People play to their strengths. You don't need a podcast to be successful. Correct. Every Like Caleb does Sunday conversation, super successful. I eat pizza, super successful. Like you don't need – podcast isn't the only way to get success. In fact, I think our social media, and I've been up Gaz's ass before he posted a video he didn't watch, I think we're lacking, and I think we get intelligent guys. You can, Like Worldwide Wob, even though he's not my favorite guy, create an entire niche by just being on top of the NBA and having captions out. There's plenty of ways to create content without it having to be a podcast. That was Correct. a healthy conversation. Yeah. You can own college basketball without a podcast. Correct. It actually probably right. would be easier to do because college basketball just – as a sport, like I love it, you love it, but the majority of people don't love it till March. And, and it's also a bad attitude we have at this company in general. It's not just a Rico thing, and you're going to get it, and Hank will get it, but like early bench mob and switch, it's like people are so reliant. It's like they have someone else doing this social media for like bench mob. When we were doing it, it's like we did everything ourselves. It's like you want to be, you're obsessed with being first, funniest, always. Now it's like you start a podcast or you do something, you have someone else run social. That's a foreign concept to me when I'm starting something new. Hank it's and like, I ran all of the part of my take social for the first two years. Yeah. And, and, and so like that's the stuff that, is a cultural thing here at Barcelona a little bit. We'll probably talk at the company meeting a little bit about it right. tomorrow. Stop messing with that thing. I'm almost done, I think. It's just an interesting thing that you said, you know, we haven't been great in college basketball, and now we're greenlighting another college basketball. Well, I didn't greenlight it. Okay. Like, 
we've talked about this for the most part. It's a resource issue. I have not been told that I have to dedicate an ounce of research to any of that. That was told to me, we'll do it without resources. So I have always said, if you can do that and then prove you got something, we'll do resources. It's all resource issue. Got it. What about the other conversation where you said like, hey, if they need you, we'll get back to you on that. Who's they? Uh, sales. Yeah, they don't need you. Got it. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> clip. Oh, 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 no. You say, oh, oh no. no, like it's my oh, livelihood. Like, I, all right, Dan. I, what? I, that was an oh, oh no nah. moment. Let's go, week zero. That was an oh no moment. I'm not allowed to react? You can, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Got it. I mean, how should I have reacted? Cheered? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like cheering that the, the sales it, doesn't it, need FYI, you. FYI, for the record, I have explained that to you multiple, multiple times. What was the what, what's the sales, conversation? Like does sales like a high noon or something? Does sales need um, bench mob? No, they they sell high noon, and then the sales like where can we differentiate? If it's not bench mob, they can just as easily move it to something else. That's not one of the pause that the client sits there and says we need this. It's not like PMT where you move them out of PMT. The client's like, what the fuck just right. happened? No, we have a lot of lower ones that we throw bones and scraps of food. That's how it is. Moving around. Exactly. Anorexic ball. drunk movie podcast sounds like a great idea too. So. <laughs> what? Is what? Who is that? Clever. Oh. <laughs> also, not a resource thing. <laughs> you know, I, I got. I'm not up oh, to speed because oh, of the Kirk. Yeah, I'm not up well, to speed. Well, you understand a couple things on Clemmer that Kirk greenlit him. You know that, right? Like I called Kirk before I hired Clemmer and said, "Do you have a problem?" Because I won't hire him. And said, Kirk "No, did, do it." Kirk did like. We talked. Kirk and I talked about Clemmer being on Barstool Idol. He was, you know, he knew about that, so it's not. But it, I'm saying, Kirk, I like, I do like, I love Kirk. But but it, like, I, am I? And they have a history. If Clemmer becomes part of my crew, am I going to let you just take shots at Clemmer like that? I don't know. No. Yeah, you're right. You call the shots. I gotta admit that was a new, that was a good new one. I I gotta get like the new. I had no idea. I had no idea who he's talking what, what about. What did he say? Uh, anorexic. <laughs> what was it? Anorexic. Drunk. Drunk podcast. Uh, it's all right. Tomorrow's a you know maybe we can make amends. It is an open bar tomorrow, so maybe we'll share a drink. <laughs> oh, at the, at, at, at the company party. <laughs> maybe a cider. Yeah. A few people who like drinks. Make a few amends. Who else? Guy that sits in that seat, perhaps. Who sits in that seat? Billy. Oh. Company party's a good spot. Maybe a couple quarterbacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a good spot. Should be a good week tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good week tomorrow? Like, good day. Good day. Good end of the week. I little, just gotta say, I have no problem party. taking a shot at Clever. He did. He is. He is a climber. He went against the skip. He's climbed to the top. <laughs> he went against the skip. He he has climbed. It's he climbed over me, so he got to his promised land with Dave. Uh, I say personally, I sanction the shots at Clever. Thank you. Dave doesn't, but I do. No, I haven't said that yet either way. I haven't been here much with Clemmer. Clemmer is ready to pick up and move to Miami with Nadu and run around and be part of the crew. Me, Nadu, and Clemmer is the start of quite a crew in Miami. Wow. Imagine to see the three of us strutting down South Beach. That's, yeah. Hide your broads. Yep. yep. Big time. All those years, 20 years working your ass off, and that's your payoff. Oh. It's your life. It's your life, Skip. <laughs> You just called me Skip? Yeah, I wait, run who's with two Skip? Crews. I run who's with two Skip? crews. I run with two crews. But which crew? Right now, football season. I'm more. I'm running with you guys. I got to be honest. I think that may sum up your entire sorry existence here. You can't be running with multiple crews like that. You have your your core crew, and that's it. We're all part of the same you, you, family. You turned your back on your core crew, okay. and it put you in a predicament. Do you not agree with that? No, I disagree with that. You disagree that you turn your back on your core crew? How yeah, many I mean, presidencies I, have we been doing this podcast? Four. He he was the number one rider, Hank, period. End of story. Not even a, a – there wasn't even a, a debate. Doubt. Do you know how many times I, I almost pulled my hair out having to talk to Hank when he was like <sighs> – Telling me like Rico's not a bad, not a scumbag, not a bad guy, not a what's bad the, picker. What's the feeling of the Bosco family in regards to me? They like me, they hate me. What do they think? 
I mean, they read the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's the answer? They see the headlines. <laughs> so, they, so they believe the headlines? Oh, no. I don't give a fuck about... Oh, God. Someone keeps calling. Hello? <laughs> Remember when we were in um, when we were in Louisiana the day that Rico came back and we like came to the conclusion that he's just you should be going to therapy that was good for you but he's literally just going to therapy and being like there's this Dave and Dan guy and they just uh, they fucking they cause all my problems <laughs> and they're just the worst. I guess we should do picks. There's only a couple. Games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before we do picks, what do we? Well, have I told it? you. I told you how like when uh, I walked in and she was like, "Why are you here?" I had to explain what's going on, and then because of the internet, she's I don't know like, what the hell you're talking about. To you're therapy, when I first the first oh, session, the ther- I walked yeah. in therapy. We talk, and then at the end, the, then the next week, she's like, "How was your weekend?" So, and then it's like dead silent. And she's like, "So, I did find the video." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I okay, knew. that was a that was a humbling moment. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Rico. If we're doing this analogy. You know, the five families of Barstool. We're all in the same thing, this thing of ours. But don't you think there's a little bit of a predicament you put yourself in where if you are having allegiance to two families, if those two families, the heads of those two families talk and they're like, this guy's causing both of us problems. Like if Kirk and Dave talk, they're heads of families. You're a street soldier. Yeah, I don't. They're think like, that hey, is this ever. your guy? Is this your guy? He went out and did this. Who's this? Who's taking ownership? You know, you go out and whack a guy. Who's taking ownership for it? I thought you were gonna say if two guys, if those two go head to head. No, 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 no. We're no, all in the think, same no. family. Listen, we're all in the same yeah. family. Well, I'm just well, saying. Well, in that hypothetical, what would happen? Yeah, like Rico goes out and whacks well, a guy, well, no, and then the, and then the commission gets together and they're like, who's taking ownership be, for be, this hit? Oh, or better yet, skip. Calls for the whacking of a guy that I don't agree with, and then That's the two heads point. of the family are suddenly at war over your actions. No, not even. It doesn't even have to be if Rico did it. It's just Kirk does something that is not approved and it causes a war. But I don't think it's gonna happen. But between he and I, then what do you do? That's a great question. Carmine Lupitazzi with the tape recorder. Peace, peace, peace offering between the two. You think you can get? <laughs> You think you would? Be I don't the think one? you can broker peace no. if war broke out between Skip and I. I'm a new man. You know, you, you have no idea what I'm capable of. I don't want. <laughs> yeah. I, I listen. Rico. That's the truest thing <laughs> you've ever said on this podcast. <laughs> right. You are absolutely dead ass right. I have no idea what you are capable I, of. I want it to be could clear. be a gift and a curse. <laughs> I want it to be clear, Rico. I love Kirk, and we're talking about a hypothetical. I hope we never get to, but. If you have allegiance to two families, it has to at least cross your mind at some point that that day could come. It does. And what is what do you, what, what is there, your you mind You are say? doing something wrong with that board. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good fucking here. It's close. This one's now in. We'll we'll take a look. But right now, so wait, answer good. my question. Yeah. The board is set. There, the board is set. There you go. I got to get my nice. name on there. It's a guarantee. Oh, maybe, you're guaranteeing. Maybe a last shot. Yeah. Because there'll be different names on there. For 2023, so you got to, you know, you got to get yourself on there. Last stance. So wait, wait, wait answer Last my hypothetical dance. real quick. Give me that hypothetical one more it, time. It, I, like I said, I love Kirk. There's no, the, the we're in peace times everywhere. I've never had a war with Kirk. I fucking love the guy. But if you are a soldier that is pledging his allegiance to two different families, if those families go head to head, what happens to you? Maybe I take myself out. Do everybody a favor. Okay. <laughs> That's, that is one option. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> Solves a lot of problems. Exactly. For you. Put put your mind to rest. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're That's all where good. I lie. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sacrifice really. yourself for something That's bigger. where you would lie. You're, you're, a, you're a foot soldier in many armies. First That's one to fun. drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's all under the same umbrella. Definitely. It's our thing of ours, Barstool right. Sports. Absolutely. Yeah. We took a we took a we took an oath. Yep. Okay. Um do we have any futures? What, oh, no, what no, you go saying? ahead. No, uh, go ahead. How would you handle this Mincy situation? Mm. Mm. It's a tough one. You can't be you can't be having those conversations like that. 
You know, I would have made something like if somebody. Somebody's like, oh, I know you're friends with him, or we go back. Like, is they listen? Dave butters the bread. Can't do it. Yeah, and I would argue if someone's really good friends, maybe you don't come after us for no reason to begin with when you know your good friend works at the company. Well, if yeah, I mean, some of these people friends. are just so crazy. You don't, you know, they just yeah. You it's can't. a crazy world out there. Oh, yeah. it's and that's why. Yeah. In this crazy world, and I, I don't, I almost don't want to say it because I don't want to. I'll have to watch it. But I'm watching. I told Dan that yeah. I'm on Fox. Oh, you never say that. We'll bleep that. I'm, but we'll this bleep too. Because if you don't bleep it, TiVo I'm, leaves you out to dry. I'm, I'm learning. It, when in doubt, kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. Don't ask. We, just we, kill. Our family has now 20, almost coming up on 20 years. You don't get here by giving people the benefit of the doubt. No. You cut the tree right away. You, you get in going on a reality competition. But, but you understand what he's saying, right? You don't. You don't sit down That's and have, good. You don't sit down and have pasta with each other. What did he just say about the reality? What's wrong with the reality shows? Wait, what did you just take a shot at? I didn't take a shot at anything. <laughs> yes, you did. You guys, don't get instant replay if you don't catch the jokes. Oh, like, let's I heard it. You get in with a reality show. We've asked you to be on all those. Okay. You're born for reality. Have you, you said are. no to those? I haven't said no. Well, have you Surviving said yes? Surviving Barstool? No, you said, hey, I know it's a long shot. Can you do it? I said no. I'm well, that's I a guess no. I'm that's a more, no. That, that's that's a a no. more a competition. That'd be a no. <laughs> Come in for a competition. How many? You're how in. Many, so me, all the reality shows are competition. Rico, because it is last dance. Let me just. I'm going to pose a question to Dave. Dave, for the decade plus that I've been working for you, how many times do you think I've said no? Oh, I, I don't know. Ever to be honest. Yes to everything. If Hank pushed, okay, if you pushed it, I, I would do it. I'd find a way to do it. But you also said, like, hey, I know you. But coming up on a contract year. Right. Yes to everything. I, I'm still doing that. I don't have to say yes to everything, but I'm saying yes to everything. All right. It's that inner drive. We put more shows on the college football show. We did. We're yeah. like, we can hit a couple more cities. We have, like, nine shows this year. You think I want to be away from my family nine nine times, nine dates? That's a good list. Yeah, I did see it. I want I want the what's best for the company. A couple of new wrinkles in there too, I saw. No spoilers. Dudes, you just look like your face is glassed over the entire time. <laughs> Dude, well, I mean, this is the this is a, a pure pick 'em because anyone who's like this is their next week we'll do more picks, but like because there's more I mean, there's games. Only like four games. There's only four games, but this is a true pick 'em that the OGs who are listening right now will understand it. Anyone who just like you imagine someone just oh. being like, "Oh, well, I need a you, college this football." Is, this That's is the we common every time. We've I thought this was a college football. This football is show. no different yeah. than any long running series. <laughs> right, this is it ends on cliffhangers <laughs> and it's continuous. And to be honest, the real people like Barstool get that it's the yes. the throwback. But this has a long <laughs> history. It's days of our lives yeah, with betrayal and stabbing in the backs. We've uh, spoken in tongues <laughs> yeah. this entire time. It's all the FBI won't be able to get us <laughs> if they get this tape because they don't. Yeah, we haven't said ten, anything. I think, ten, I think it's ten years, uh, 13, which makes 14, it 15, all 15, that 16, much. Well, 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 seventeen. You can't count seventeen. You you, you weren't here for seventeen. You okay. you you yeah, stopped that, play, coming up for seventeen, and then Blackjack Fletcher got introduced, and then you hated him. Got it. You not having Mount Ride the, his back. That was like a red wedding. Yeah. Like yeah. the viewers gasping. <laughs> like, what just happened? Change the dynamics of the show. Yeah. Okay. So you want to do some picks? Yeah, Should before we... that, though, Phil Jackson did do one thing in the preseason meeting before. Yeah. He had everyone write their goals, and at the end of the year, they read it. Okay. So I'm interested to see where everybody's – I know where we'll, my we'll, I mean, top, you know. Yeah, no, we'll hide them somewhere. Where are we going to put them? Uh, do we keep them? When do they read we'll it? At the end? At the mean? end when they won uh -oh. a championship. So okay. When, when All, top, right. All right, give me a pen. That's my opinion. Top five every – Give me a pen. We're going to write down our goals. Should we say them out loud as we write them? No. No, he's saying you don't. We do it at the team. This is good podcasting. Just going to write. We're a video show, too. That's true. It's good videoing, too, where people just watch us write. Okay. Well, we can't put it in. I know. I know. I'm saying oh. it's, it's. This is. I need a pen. Um, all right. I'm in. Oh, it's Ukraine Day at Saratoga. That's nice. Beautiful. Putin, you think Putin plays the horses? He's like, definitely. man, this war. <laughs> he definitely does. And he like, if he, he just kills all the horses, yeah. they don't win. It's like they're going to the finish line, he shoots them, so his goes first. Uh, all right. 
I'm writing mine down. He'd be he'd be like the guy. He's like, I went 11 for 11 in tries at Saratoga. <laughs> All right. Uh, we had a guy come up to me and Elio, and he's just casually talking about stuff. He's like, yeah, I had the exact of that race. No big deal. It was, it was 21 to 1 over 14 to 1. It's like, no, you didn't. You'd be at the window waiting right, for your. Right. Where are we putting these? Yeah, put them in an urn. Can I put? Can, is it? Can these be about goals about other people too? Sure. Like if Rico doesn't kill himself, is that's, that an okay goal? I think that's a very noble. Well, goal. I mean, okay. Yeah. That's, what you? Well, yeah. You, oh, I wasn't supposed to say. You, it. you can take a look at D on mine. Oh, okay. So, that was nice of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll, you know. Uh, yeah, you could, you'll, you'll be able to tell. This is great. I'm happy to back, be back with the boys. And now we'll find out. I mean, what, talking about, you know, the drama, this season is essentially will Mount Rydermore be resurrected? Can we find a way? Yeah. Can we get to that point? I mean, it's one of my goals. I think my goal can get it there. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's do, before we do the picks this week, if any futures. Can we put that on a shirt and a hoodie, too? What? With that, uh, maybe the the helmets and the boss will pick them on the side and the last dance on the back? Yeah, maybe. I like the last dance poster. Maybe we maybe we sell it. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's do – these futures do not count for the final record. Be a nice bonus when I'm driving Uber around Christmas. I thought your contract was up till January 1st. 30, I mean, I mean, yeah. Are you going to get a head start on the Uber? I need a driver. <laughs> Actually, Danny Boy Hustle Hard wants to be your driver. Who? Danny Boy Hustle Hard. He picked and he's up Jerry's Antonio. guy, so he's got a leg up on me. He does all, like, the Giants, all the NFL players. He was he's, who Antonio Brown with. Yeah, he picked up Antonio right Brown. He's actually, like, a great dude. He's okay. Brooks. Well, that probably doesn't help. No, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, futures. Uh, Hank, you got any futures? And uh, these don't count for the final records. I have a couple. Okay. UAB under wins, eight and a half. Air Force under eight and a half wins. And Hawaii over four and a half wins. Okay. All right, so, That's, Rico? Yeah, Hank didn't do the full search of my name on the blog. It's Air Force over eight and a half. <laughs> Wait, you're going against them again? UAB over eight and a half. These were given out months ago. You're going against Hank again? You know what? Air Force under. UAB wow! under. Wow! Hawaii over. Let's go. And now I will cash out of my tickets. You're right. Wow! Carry was the great picks. That was. You have laid, you have laid the groundwork. That was a big moment, Dave. He switched his picks. He switched his picks. I didn't even know you had the other side. He switched three I, of his picks. Please, I like I do think you did, but that's, so you're calling him a liar? Not calling him a liar. Then what are you calling him? No, I, I think he he knew what he was doing. So then you're right. calling him a liar. I'm making good picks. Well, where do you stand on people calling you a liar? I don't like it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that's a pretty well known fact, right? But Did you say that people who do that get a second chance? Who call me a liar? Maybe a third? Who call me a liar? Yeah. Depends. Okay. Huh. Are you saying the dude called me a liar? I know that you said that. I said that? When did I say that? The t-shirt debacle? Oh, are you calling me a liar? Because he said he thought I wasn't putting out the real numbers. I don't know. Yes, Ooh. that was a different one, though. He just directly said... Nadu honestly thought I like somehow he sold more shirts. It's a fair point though. Rico is that He's was sharp. just he He's just sharp. went two for two. Well, you take away hatred, you put a lot more up top. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> different guy. You your brain's starting to work at a different level. Yeah, like last night, uh, Mets lose, tough loss. It's eleven o'clock. I just want to go to bed. We're out of trash bags. I get one foot in the car. My neighbor's like, hey, come here. Come check this out. It's a Spider-Man first edition. I've never talked to this guy about comics. I don't care about comics. I just want to go to bed. Instead of throwing a can at him, I <laughs> thought about it and tweeted and realized that maybe God was teaching me a lesson in patience. Yeah, and you went and saw the Spider-Man. 
yeah, I, I said, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, how's the value on that? Okay, yeah. And then I, you know, I angrily tweeted about it, but I said, hey, it's, wow. it's one of two things. God wants to teach me a lesson or he's just a sick fuck who wants to uh, watch me torture. With the way it goes for me, it's 50-50. Yeah. Did you get the trash bag? That's beautiful. Yeah, I got him. That's a beautiful moment. I like this. I mean, I like to see you smile. You've pouted for three months straight. That is a fact. So it's off summer. Yeah, it has. You've you've been you've been energy vampire. I may or may not have, at one point, said to someone, "I actually wish Marty was sitting next to me instead wow. of Rico." Wow, 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 but wow, that's wow. just energy vampire vibes. Was that on the drive up or the drive back with your best friends from Saratoga? <laughs> Oh, are you mad yeah. about that Jerry has replaced you? I'm asking he when he, like when he had the conversation. You, you're you're when, out on Jerry? I'm, no, I'm asking when he had the conversation. It's a valid question. I think it was actually in the office, but uh, sure. the, the big four picture, didn't you didn't like that? You're Listen, not a horse He's guy. rising up. Right. <laughs> or a friend of mine. <laughs> I know. You have, that's an exclusive club to get into. It is. Yeah. And you were in it. Right. Living, yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. It's over to. <laughs> and now, yeah. Your crew is something. <laughs> Me, Dan, care, care to Jerry, comment? and yeah. Elio. Hank, if Hank, Hank doesn't like Hank horses, but he's open always invite, allowed. Open invite. Got it. So... So you don't like Jerry? I've never said that. Okay. Seems like I asked did. when you had the conversation. Okay. All right. Let's do some games. Let's do some picks. Week zero. I wish they had. I just... have a ton of win totals. I've been blogging them. I got two more coming out today. Okay. Nice. Um, Is that? I like your book. Are those counting? Against... Yeah, I got it from the Big Ten. I also what... have a polo. Nobody what... likes free merch like you. <laughs> what? Uh, what's the unit situation right now? Yeah, I mean that's a punchline. That that was no, it's go. not a punchline. Everyone knows I... that that's not. I saw a spreadsheet that said you were down 100 units this right. year. Doesn't count live. Doesn't count. It only well, equates that. things to one. So best bets, don't do that. Doesn't equate hammer to live. Plays. When I had in the home. Yeah, the, the hammer plays were electric in March. Tough spot favorites. Right. Yeah. Okay. Take take the take the, uh, Blue Jays tonight. Do yourself a favor. That was nice of you, Dave. Give you a free winner. Red Sox. Okay. All right, so, yeah, week zero. I wish they did one big game week zero. Uh, week zero is a joke. It, it really, it just is, it, they're trying to inch towards it where they're having, like, Big Ten game, you know, Northwestern, Nebraska, but. Or just push it back. Push it back or give us one. Like, if they had Ohio State, Notre Dame week yeah, zero, yeah. it'd be like, but all right. I will say, I think it's too early for that game. I don't, I. I well, it's, it's next week. No, I know. Yeah, But yeah. even when you get towards the end of August, like August 20th, ish is yeah. still too early for yeah. me yeah but to, i just wish they, like, i can't like travers this saturday yeah i don't need a big college football game on travers day. no it's it's a tease this yeah. saturday is a tease because i'll see the helmets on the field yep, and i'll be like correct. this is exciting and they'll be like wait there's only like three games what yep. the fuck and i mean yeah, who knows if students are back at these games or what right yeah well this game's in fucking ireland yeah right yeah all right so uh you guys want I, I mean we i think we just go if you have a card it's and then we mortal small. locks. It's very small. You want to do the mortal locks? You're gonna wait till. I think you have to do. I you think it's week sit, zero. You have here, to you do, do it. You right. have to do a mortal lock. All right. I don't. I think, also think for. I'm gonna pull the curtain back a little bit. I think I'm changing the approach in terms of shortening the card. Oh, I am too. I've told told myself that as well. Yeah. And everyone knows I'm That's a incapable. Lie. Yes, <laughs> correct. I I have given myself that pep talk. Hey, Dan, how about seven plays on a Saturday? Yeah, that probably won't happen. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm so I'm, excited. I'm possibly going even shorter. Oh, really? I'm so excited for football, though. God damn. Just sitting on sitting on that bus, sweating out every game. All right, so lot. who's up? All right, go ahead, Rico. So you, you give us, if you have plays, and then save your mortal lock. Right. We will, by the way, even though it's week zero, Barstool Sportsbook, we'll have the mortal lock parlay up. Yep. So let's see how we do this year. Are we doing relegation again this year? That was a you thing. Well, it was an us thing. No, let's start with no relegation and okay. see how it goes. If Rico puts on a performance like he did last year, then we may have to reinstall it to motivate. Right. Fair. Okay. Rico. Hello? Just keep getting calls. It doesn't stop. 
Um, Nebraska minus thirteen. I know it's, it's tough to lay as much as you can with a three and nine team from last year. They were in so many one score games. It's really really more of a play on fade Northwestern. Uh, I like UTEP plus one and a half. Uh, the quarterback's back, mostly all lines back. The defense uh, brings back eight. They were top fifty in every category nationally. And North Texas' quarterback, I uh, definitely can't say Austin Ayun, nine touchdowns, nine interceptions. There's not a lot to love there. I would go with UTEP um, at home, plus one and a half, and Nebraska minus thirteen. And then I really like my mortal lock, which okay. is safe. Dave, your card? Yeah. So I just went through and did a couple uh, quick futures. Um, which I don't know if I'll put down. This is a, a slinger. Uh, ACC, BC, plus 16, uh, 100. Um, that's more thinking Clemson will still stink again. What with, about there's going to be a certain person who's upset at that? Well, no, because this was on one side. Excuse me. Oh, you're talking about Coastal? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. division. No, not Coastal. Whatever. It's not, the side, it's not the side that Miami's on. Right. Miami's like plus 200. Clemson was the favorite in this side at plus two something. So this was just that side of it. Um, Big Ten West, Iowa plus 500. I think they have as good a chance as anybody. And uh, as much talk as there's been about A&M, I think they're going to deliver the goods. I like them at plus 700 for their side. Wow. Yeah. I think The only be- Heisman play I would make, because it's the guys at the top are going to win. You get no value. The one I would look at is if uh, Paul Van Dyke at 40 to one. Miami guy. Yeah. yeah. Is it Paul Van Dyke? Steven? Tyler Van Dyke. Tyler Van Dyke. Tyler Van Dyke. Uh, why did I say Paul? Is that the TV show? Uh, Tyler Van Dyke at 40 to 1. Um, if the, if Miami goes and beats A&M in September, that's a September game that everyone's looking at. It's just like Burrow when he beat Texas. He rises up those boards fairly that's quick. And then Miami's wins. tough games are at the end of the year. You could be holding him at 40. Don't let Danny Boy can hear this, but I think Miami will be one of the bigger disappointments this year. Oh, no. Chris the ball's pretty good. He's I already like dealing Ball. with people asking him I know, to release NIL his medicals. And I know, I know. People want him to release his medicals. I know, I know. Uh, and I love Danny Boy, and we talk a lot. But I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not sold. They got to prove, they're at the point, they're back every year, they got to prove it to me. Um, it, well, this year it's Return of the Monster. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Uh you took Nebraska, which I kind of like because the spread's so big, but then I go back in years and years of long grass, early starts this game. Where is this game? Dublin. Dublin. I'm going to take Northwestern in the points. They were terrible last year. They lost me a lot of money, but I'm going to say that's an aberration, and I love Fitzgerald still as a coach. I, I think that program is pretty good. So, I, I don't know. Nebraska shouldn't be laying 13 and a half for a but I'll take Northwest in the points. And uh, my mortals, Hawaii, plus eight at home. Oh, I like that. I like that. So, I have Nebraska minus Same. 13. You have Hawaii as well? No, I don't. I have Hawaii. Oh, I, I like – I'm uh, so, my card is – I'm keeping it to short cards this year. Nebraska minus 13, Hawaii plus eight and a half. Charlotte, Florida, Atlantic over 58 and a half. And I'll save my mortal. Only three plays. I think so there's only five games. Yeah. Well, I already gave them mortal. mortals. Yeah, so everyone's got to go around the room. Liam. Bubba. And let's make sure that we track Dukes, everyone, because we ha- we've only been tracking the three of us. Let's Because if someone gets I hot. Feel like I feel like, and again, you guys know Dukes way more than me. I'm just casually observing. You almost need like a wake-up button next to yeah. him. Like when we're ready to talk to him, press a button, and a buzzer goes off next to his ear and snaps him up. Yeah. Uh, I'll also take away. Okay, so why is your mortal? Yep. Hawaii. Hawaii is your mortal? Plus money line. Or are you? Hawaii as well. Oh, God. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, so this is bad, this is loss, this is bad. Yeah. Dukes. Nebraska minus 13. Okay, so I'm sounding like my Northwestern pick. Go ahead. Mine is Charlotte, plus seven. I think they can win the game outright. Mm. Second team preseason, uh, all conference has their quarterback, Chris Reynolds, running back, the kid Bird, and two wide receivers. The defense was a problem last year. They need to improve that. They bring in a guy with NFL and Power 5 experience, 75% returning production, two seniors on the O-line. Uh, they can score. They'll be live. I'm also on their over on the win total, four and a half. I think this is a team that could just be in up and down track meets and can score with anybody, and I like them. FAU underperforms in game one. I think Charlotte is live plus the seven. I think they win the game. Okay. Um, I forgot one pick. I'm going to take UConn plus 27 and a half, so I think I have every game now. Uh, my mortal lock, I'm going to take Illinois minus 11. I think Bielema will have them ready to go. Remember, they won last year week yeah. zero Wyoming's against Nebraska. Wyoming's bad. They've hit the transfer portal heavy. Illinois is going to be one of those frisky teams this year. 
I'll They're put Illinois. Add Francisco. Illinois to my card. Okay, Illinois minus eleven. At, I like that. At Champaign. I like that. Um, they're going to be frisky and Bielma's like, you know, I like to bet on these teams. I know 11 seems like a lot for Illinois. They're just going to pound the rock, pound the rock, pound the rock. Um, yeah. All right. So the mortal lock parlay will be live. It will be Charlotte plus seven and a half. You'll probably get a half for, for record seven, but for the pushes and parlays, right. I, Illinois will probably be minus 10 and a half and then Hawaii Hawaii will be eight eight and a half. half. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we'll get that. Live for week zero. Maybe we can get it the other way. Who is saying we're attacking a point? Why are we doing that? What? What's the Hawaii spread? I thought it was eight. It's. I think it's eight and a half now. It's eight and a half right now. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eight and a half. So you eight and a yeah, half. Yeah, eight and a yeah. half. Yeah, I thought it was eight. And we're just, we'll just always get the half point in our favor. Correct. Yeah. For yeah, everyone yeah. out there. Was right. Um, so it would have gone. Yeah, on the score right now, it says eight. Yes. Yeah, so uh, but on the uh, book, yeah, it's eight and a half. Eight and a half. Wesley's always two steps ahead. Um. Okay. So. Uh, we're off and running, boys. Yeah. Let's have a great year. Fi- the let's last do dance. it. Last dance. Last, last dance. dance. Let's all win. If this is the last thing they remember of you here, let's make it great. Yeah. Right. Let's leave them with something to being like, damn, say what you will about Rico. Dildo, scumbag, piece of shit. That guy made memories. Didn't pay his taxes. Didn't pay his taxes. That might have legs now. <laughs> 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 Don't all right, tell Rico. me you're one of those guys who, like, Forgets to pay taxes. No, it's just you are, aren't you? No, you are. I can tell by the way you're they answering. Just, they got to me. The the tax man. Yeah, I it's think up. it was a it's similar. Up. I think it was a, a similar situation. The the Billy football situation. Where you get you get, you get uh, winnings. Yeah, and you're and like, you, oh, I never uh, yeah, have to pay right. for this. I, that's oh, a that's, way to beat I, the tax I, yeah, man. Yeah. Definitely am smarter than that. But are you? If it wasn't Billy football. And he just used somebody else. Right. You would have been like, yeah, that happened to me. Right. Happened to Einstein. Einstein beat Jose Canseco in a fight, got $50,000, <laughs> and forgot to pay taxes. Theoretically, yeah. could have happened to you. Theoretically, Theoretically yeah. yeah that, could, that same thing could have happened to you. Yeah. It's crazy. A lot of people here it happens to. They, they somehow think that you can <laughs> just money. ignore the tax. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. Never have to pay for this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, week zero in the books. Thank you. Everyone subscribe on the YouTube as well. Same schedule. We'll be taping every Wednesday, like 11 a.m. It will be out on Thursday mornings. Uh, Let's have a great season, boys. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right.